Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the first update for my 20 in 2020. I did this last year for my 19 in 19 and this year I thought why not split it half so 10 makeup products and 10 body items or skincare items whatever beauty products. I think that was very good for me because I have made some really really nice progress and I'm going to mark most of these items after this video, some of them I haven't used and some of them I just haven't gotten into a routine or had the need to use. I hope that makes sense. I have decluttered one item, no, two items, a makeup and a skincare item. As always, I have my intro link down below if you want to check that out. But let's talk about the two declutters that I have. The first declutter I have is my Pure and Care Volcanic Charcoal Mask. I just had in my empties and I showed you guys that it was hard as a rock. Um, it was cracking and it was not, not able to be used. <laughs> so I decluttered that. I don't know where I have put it. I might have thrown it out. I don't know. Um, but yes. I'm going to replace it and this is not a rolling project pen but I want to replace it because I didn't use it at all. I did think about replacing it as I just the day after <laughs> but um, I just I just waited until this time around and I am going to replace it with another mask. I will talk about that in a minute. The makeup item that I'm going to declutter for this project is this one. This is the W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream. It's a, like a liquid cream shadow in heavy metal. This one right here, it is absolutely stunning. It is this purpley grayish shade and it was perfect for the shadows that I am panning at the moment. But this is completely dry. I tried to take the stopper out. Still dry. I cannot reach the product because it is dried out on the sides. I have cleaned out this portion right here and I have this progress to show you guys but it is not usable and I am pretty happy not to be working on it because I needed to warm it up between my fingers and then apply and it barely came on my eyes so this is just going to be decluttered I have so many more <laughs> cream eyeshadows that I would need to work through and I am going to replace it with another shade in this line Let's talk about the two items that I'm going to replace those with. The other clay mask that I have, or the only clay mask that I have, I try not to have so many masks in my collection, just because they dry out before I use them apparently. So the other clay mask, this is so dirty, I'm so sorry. This is from the Body Shop, it is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. This is such a nice product, I really really like it. I like it a little bit more than the Pure Care one. I think it works better. I broke out so bad in my T-zone and especially down here. And after I have used this once a week for a few weeks, I think my skin is clearing up. I do think it is my skincare and everything, but this has helped and I'm pretty excited about it. This is full flow. <laughs> I have only used it two times. Um, it is this chunky mess, but as you can see, it is quite full. But I want to use it and I think keeping it in this project is going to be good for me. And I need to use it tonight. So, because it is a week since I used it last time. Or maybe it was Tuesday I used it. It is Sunday now. And I need to use it every single Sunday, I think. It is only going to be on your skin for 5-10 to 10 minutes. And that is so nice for me because I don't have patience to have it on for a long time. So. This is going in instead of the other clay mask. The other shade for the eye dreams from W7 I'm going to put in is this one. And this is called Copper Pot. So this is a covery shade, as the name says. It is absolutely stunning. This is not dry, I don't think. Hopefully it's not. Definitely needs to be used though. I can tell that. So this is the color blingy but kind of dark. I think it is going to be a nice base for the shadows that I'm working on. It's I have a darker one and I have a lighter one so I think the in-between shade is going to be a good one for from now almost March until the rest of the year. This is it and I have used this maybe twice so there is no progress. I have a window um, there 
um, and this mug I just made from scraping, but nothing else. Okay, a product that I haven't used is the W7 Life's a Beach Beach Body Contour Body Shimmer Thingy. It has just been too cold and rainy and I have thought about adding some into my body lotion when I'm going to work on a new one because the one I have in this project is almost got, gone and it will be too shimmery, I think. Um, but yeah, I have not used it yet, but I will in the springtime when it gets warmer and not pouring rain. I'm still at that line. Then I have my foundation that I am wearing right now. I am mixing it with a lighter foundation, so it's not going as fast as I wanted it to. But it is definitely going to be done by summer, I think. This is the Very Vegan HD foundation from W7 in Sand Beige. And this is where I started last month and I'm down to here now. So three months maybe this will be done. I'm pretty excited about that. And maybe in three months I will have a tan and I don't need to mix it. So that might be going faster at that point. Crossing my fingers though. I hopefully am. My concealer. I need to take a screenshot of this or a um, picture. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. I have been working really hard on another concealer that I finished. So this is my everyday concealer. And I don't know if there's amazing progress, but I am using it at least five days a week. Something that I don't think you can see any progress on is my NYX blush in taupe. It is an older product, old packaging and stuff like that. But this is used as a contour for me. I don't use it every single day, but I am using it a few times a week because when I remember to use it. I have not remembered today. So this is where I am now. I don't think you can see that much progress though. Then we have my cream blush. It is the Balm Cream and Lip product from a palette. It is the red cream blush that I'm working on. I use it every single day. And I do think I have expanded the pan. I don't know. Sometimes I use my fingers to apply and sometimes I use my brush when I get lazy and I don't want to have it all over my hands. I am working on it and I'm pretty excited about it. And there's cat hairs in it all the time. Cat life. But yes, this is where I am now. This is my eye primer. This is the W7 I Got The Power In Natural. I did change the cap because the other one that matches this packaging was cracking and now this is as well. You can't win. You can't win. This is where I was in intro and now I am... I'm squeezing down here when I need to get product out but there's some air. So it's... It's not... It's right here or something. So I am going to count it when I need to get product out and that is right here. So I barely have anything left. So I have used maybe a third or something that was left from the intro. The two makeup products that I am going to mark or have here on my paper. The first one I have only used once or twice. It is my P2 Impressive Dual Cat Yowl Eyeliner in the navy color. Dramatic Blue. This one right here, it is a beautiful, stunning eyeliner and I do love it very much. I have been working hard for the last month and a half to finish a brown eyeliner and I did. So yeah, this is next and you can't really see that it is blue. I have a very blue eyeliner on today. It is definitely not that blue. So I have no progress for that. That is all I have. For this eyeliner and i need to have it done this year this is the w7 double prime lips and brows duo primer i only use it on my lips i don't have the intention on using it in my brows when i have it on my lips that makes no sense i am using this every single day i have found a routine and i'm pretty excited about it yeah this is all i have left in that product it is cracked from the base it works when i need to apply it so that is great i have made the tiniest amount of progress on this product but I am pretty excited about it and I need to have that done this year because I don't want it anymore. <laughs> the last makeup item I have is my Franken bronzer. The state in that intro was that it was before I was going to mix it with something else because I didn't have had time to do it. So I did it a week or something after the update or shortly after at least. I mixed it in with some other things and now it is completely full is in this um, old 
powder from Bossoir. So I will insert the process of me repressing it together and stuff like that. I did it on my Instagram if you want to see it. This is how it is looking now. It is cracked, unfortunately. I didn't put enough oil in it, but it is beautiful. I am wearing it every single day. And you can see the imprint from the kitchen towel that I used, and it, uh, in the middle, it is wearing off. So that is my progress since I repressed it in, uh, or framed it. Again, it is a beautiful color. It is a perfect color for me. I can build it up so it's darker, so that is going to be perfect for the spring and summertime. So this is a really, really, really good shade for me. I don't use, I don't use a lot because I'm pale. I'm using it every single day and I enjoy it. That is the most important part. So when I have this done, I have two bronzers done and a ch small chunk of another one done. <laughs> two other ones. So there's like four bronzers in that product. Perfect. Should we take the products that I haven't used? I have three products I haven't used. The first one is my Matas Pomegranate Hand Cream. I have my Tresemme heat protection spray. I am still up to here. I have not used any heat protection because I have not blow dried my hair. I have not straightened my hair or curled it. And the small serum I have from Neil, so I have not used. My goal is to use it up this month. That is where I am right now. I have used this once or twice, so it is, it is just below that line. I can make a new line but I can't see it for the life of me. This is the W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. This is very, very shimmery and glowy, and I just don't have time in the morning right now. <laughs> I have my W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. I have used this a lot, actually, but I don't think you can see it, <laughs> um, unfortunately. But I have used it a lot more than I did for the beginning of the year or last year when I had it in a project. And it is going to be done this year, but it's just slow going. This is my Franken body lotion from Amatas Natura body lotion and some other things. And I have the smallest bit left. I will insert a picture from the intro. And now I am down to here. I don't have a lot left. It is so thin. Um, so yeah, this is going to be done by next update and I am excited about that. This one is done tonight. It is the Ninja body lotion. This is a small size and I was up to here in intro and now I'm down to here or something. Maybe less. Maybe even here. Um, here, about here. So that is going to be done and I'm pretty excited about that. This is a small size. There's sheer butter in this. Is she butter? Sheer butter? So it is quite thick but it is pretty awesome for my legs. Which is pretty dry. Last two items are also Neem Sure, and this is the face scrub. I used this in the shower, and I was up to here in the intro, brand new. off. So I'm about halfway done with this product. I hope this is done by next update as well. And this one is almost done. Sometimes I don't have pump out a lot of product. I can't see my progress on this, but this is almost done. It is the Neem Sure face cream for normal skin. There's 50 milliliters in this bottle, but when I started it, uh, this project, this was not brand new. I have used it for a few months, so it might be like halfway in the intro. So now I'm, I'm down there. So I'm pretty excited about that. So let's see if this is done by a next update as well. I hope so, at least. That was all my products, 20 products. I hope this update is getting smaller by each month because there's a lot of products to get through. I hope it's okay that I roll some new products in for the other two. I just wanted to work on 20 items and make it fair for myself. I don't think I'm going to make it rolling. I have considered doing that because I think I am going to have a few empties next time. Um, but I'm just going to do so many projects this year and I have a lot going on so I don't think that is going to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check out my other ones on my channel and subscribe if you're new here. I would love for you to join my small family that I'm growing. And yeah, until my next one, please take care. Bye.